This is what I have been looking forward to, my very first potato harvest. So, uh, my husband is kind enough to hold the camera for me, <laughs> so I don't have to do this by myself. What I've seen everybody else do, I guess everybody just cuts the, the plants off the top, what's left of them anyways. And like I said, the labels are faded, so I don't really know which kind this one is. I do want to keep all my mulch that I had in here, so I'm just gonna... Down so I can reuse it. Oh, and here we go, you guys. <laughs> oh, please have something in here. Oh, if I could just get three potatoes. Three potatoes out of the three seed potatoes I put in here, I'll be happy. I'm so nervous. Like, what if there's nothing in here? <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just look for something that, if anything, is really micro. There, I see something right there. You got a little one. All right. All right. Oh my god, I was gonna cry if there was no potato. Okay, we got a little breakfast. Look at my first potato. All right. All right, the first one. Okay. Uh-huh, there we go. Oh, the little one. Hey, fry those up. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna cry anyways. This is my first potato harvest. Oh my gosh. Oh look. It's like a yep. snowman. <laughs> it's not a bad size. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger would be nicer, but I think this is what they call new potatoes. I think it depends on what kind you. <gasps> oh, there you go. See, that's, that's the size we need <laughs> oh right there. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, there's another See? one. <laughs> Told you, do good. Good job. These are Charlotte potatoes because they're whitish colored ones. Oh! You see, there's right at the base of where the plant was. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. The little baby ones. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was so sad when I saw nothing come out of the back when we first dumped it. I'm thinking <laughs> three or four more. Maybe a little bite-sized one. <laughs> They're apparently edible at any size, so we could just make, you know, like little breakfast potatoes. Completely mm -hmm. gone. All right, not bad. <laughs> For our first 
first one. <laughs> Let me so... get a little closer on that one. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm more excited for the second bag. So you got three good size ones, counting the duo. <laughs> Oh my yep. God. Right on. <laughs> okay, you guys. That was the first pot, and now let's see if we can top that with the second one. <laughs> Same as before. Is this going to be the same type of potato? Nope. This is a different one. What kind of different one? Don't know, because the tags. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm pretty sure these were Charlotte's. So, here we go. Bag number two. Oh. Ooh. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a different one. <laughs> well, that's either a dark red Norland or it's Adirondack red. But, oh my gosh, well, that's a good sign if we get one popping out like that. Yep, let me back up a little and bit. It's, and it's a heavier bag, too. Pour out on this one. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> gosh, there's already a bunch more. Holy cow. <laughs> More consistent sizes with these ones, kind of. Yep, it's going to be quite a bit more. And we've never eaten these kinds, but since I've never grown potatoes before, I wanted to grow something a little more exciting than just russet potatoes. So. It's a decent sized root compared to the, the other ones. You're going to get a few more. I think that's the biggest one. Yep. Just trying to take the title. <laughs> we'll see. Well, the idea is to have more growing, so your timing is to where you harvest some, have more growing, you know. Yeah, that's why we have all the other ones over there. Yeah, I don't want potatoes every day, but <laughs> it's they're nice to have. There we go, yeah. I think that's it. I think so, too. But you know what? I'm not mad. That's, uh, that's still another good job. 
first time, right? Yeah, this is our first time, so that's exciting. Mm -hmm. yep. Almost the same amount. That does kind of look like it, huh? Yeah. You know, we could weigh them, but I don't want to go that far. <laughs> I don't think we need to. Uh, there's a lot of little micros, though. My first potato harvest. The duo harvest. That's so cool. I am so very, very happy with this, you guys. <laughs> Good job, Sock New. <laughs> okay, so that was just too much fun, and I don't know what all I got going on this week, so we're just going to do the other two as well. <laughs> so, mystery potato three and four. Let's see if we can beat the first two batches. Well, I think they would grow a lot bigger if we leave them. But, yeah, getting them out of the way right now is your choice. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're still. Yeah, they're not dead, right? We're supposed to wait till they're dead? Uh, I don't know. People are kind of... There are some people that wait till they're completely dead dead. Some that are just... Well, we'll see. I'm just impatient because... Um, that was so much fun, huh? Because <laughs> it is fun. Whoa! Oh my gosh, Joey, come here, look. You got a crowner? <laughs> Under the mold. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm hmm. <laughs> there we go. Now, is that going to be the consistent color? Yeah. So, think so? So that's, um, I think, Adirondack blue. Mm. So the color has nothing to do with it being exposed to the no, surface no, no. like that? If it was exposed, it would have been green. And those mm. are the ones that I guess we can't eat. But see, that's why I had all this mulch on the top, just in case. That's a good thing I grew. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Surprise. Mulch, mulch your potatoes. Okay, right? Those are some healthy stocks. Yeah, if this is any indicator. Well, the size of those stocks are way thicker. Thicker than all the uh, yeah. than the ones we just did. Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. It's good good network. Well, there's not any falling out like that. No, they're, they're all connected. That's why it's staying like that. They're, it's a big network of roots. You'll see. Crack it open. Flip it over, actually. There you go. Yeah. Told you. <laughs> you saw them before I did. That's no, I didn't see those, though, but I was guessing. Oh my god! Here we go, keep it going. Let's go ahead and put them in there. Oh! Good boy. Oh my gosh, that's the biggest one we've got mm -hmm. so far. You can tell by those stalks. Yeah. So the stalks, the fatter the stalks, the well, bigger it, the Well, it seems like more nutri nutrients is, uh, you know. Making it down to the potato. Yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> they look pretty healthy. They were getting a lot of, a lot of water. That I guess that's anything. that is a big deal. The um, consistent watering, because we didn't have a rain rain for like a long time. See, it's dry down to the. Yeah, a lot of this is drier. Well, that's weird. The first two bags were more wet. Hmm. That might be just about it. gotten maybe a medium size giving them another month or two oh gosh they've already been in since like april 9th it's yeah. been four months yeah well still so. 
That's okay. That is okay. There it is. Where? <gasps> we'll see potatoes. Oh. Yep, there's another little batch. Come on. Base of the well, except for that other one, the first one you found was. Yeah. Let's see. That might be it then, if they're just all. There's one right there. Where? Oh, you have to find it. <laughs> oh. There we go. Oh, another one. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're on the bottom, huh? So oh, weird. oh, ready. Oh my gosh. That is just too cool. Oh my gosh. But yeah, the, this pot was definitely drier. Come on, give us one more. Just one more. Yep, that whole piece right in front of you there, I don't think you really cracked it. Ooh, very, very dry. Yeah. That is a lot of roots, so. Yeah, that's why. Aww, it's okay, so we did good. All kinds of different hash browns. <laughs> French fries. No, I want roasted. I think I'm going to do roasted potatoes. Yeah. Some herbs. We got all kinds of herbs in the garden. Well, I guess that's it. But look, though. Look that's how not bad. big they are. Yeah, and there's not a whole bunch of baby ones. You know, we didn't have something to compare them to, like a baseball or something. Okay, you guys. Time for the last one. One what? <laughs> well, that only leaves one kind then. It's either uh, dark red Norland or Adirondack red because we don't know what that. We really don't know which is which. Maybe the dark red Norland will be a darker color red. I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, right, let me have a look. <laughs> It's not like a big hole one like the other one. There's two of them. Did you see a pokey it? That's that's a sign of good luck. It is a sign of good luck. Mm-hmm. That's it now. Everybody. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Yep. Crowners mean it's a sign of good luck. <laughs> I'm just saying that's a new thing now. <laughs> Joey says it is so. Yep. <laughs> Crowners are a sign of, oh, it's a heavy bag. Yeah, well, look at those stalks. I keep telling you. Oh. They retain a lot of water, so there's a lot of roots in there. No, good seed. No, I say that's a good sign. I say it's a good sign because it's all compact like that. So there's it's a network of roots. So I already see a few, so. Okay, well this one's definitely more wet than the last bag, so. Yeah, it looks darker. So hopefully all that heft doesn't just mean it's just wet. Oops, sea potato, yuck. People say it's like digging for treasure. It is really, oh my gosh. This is so much fun. And I did say in the beginning that I didn't care if I only got a couple potatoes. It is, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you don't plant the seed to grow a little bit, <laughs> you know. If there's an option to, you know, to get a good harvest, that's what you want. Each one is, Precious. you know, 
It's like a little gift. It is a little gift. And that's why you gotta be grateful for everything that you get, you guys. Here, let me uh, move. Get stuck oh. watching you and not watching the camera. Oh, sorry. Well, I get caught up in your excitement here. I'm uh, real happy for you. You know, we put in the time and effort, and it's nice to get returns like that. Yeah, I just got to watch. <laughs> then I'll get to eat. That's pretty cool. Well, you are the one that does all the heavy lifting when we go and buy bags of compost or whatnot. I'm just worried about how I would look if I let my wife do that. <laughs> oh, man. There's another one. You just buried it. There it is. Even though you know I can do absolutely everything on my own. Yeah, I know. Because I am a strong, independent woman. Right. As I am a man, and I could live probably a whole lot of weight, but what for? It's not good for you if you can get help. There's a tip for you. It is okay to ask for help. Always. Oh. Oop. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Let the potatoes come to you. learned documents <laughs> well no i i put tags remember? tags you know, obviously they, tags don't fade. work well i think i've seen a lot of people do different kinds of tips on well I, I would say do a color code system you could dot with some type of permanent color on the side of your you know pots and it'll tell you exactly what it is with a little chart that you have on the side mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> A manifest, oh, in or, a sense. Or, I will write the names in permanent pen of some sort, and then I'll put tape over it. Tape over the top. I think that's it, you guys. Yep. Oh my gosh. Tell me that's a beautiful. That's nice. That is a beautiful, beautiful... Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I have to go get the other container so we can see all of them together. It's almost even. Almost even, Steven? Eh, you know. Obviously the, the reds are bigger, but... More abundant. So... Not by much. Not by much. I almost got equal amounts for each kind. So, Charlotte's dark, or Adirondack blue, and between these two, one of them is dark red New Orleans and Adirondack red. So one and four, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. But either way, you guys, this is my very first year growing potatoes. So obviously anybody can grow potatoes if I can grow them. Just, uh, you know, stick them in some dirt and give them some love, hope and pray, and voila. <laughs> You're fed. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me for my very first potato reveal harvest. I'm very excited. I'm very grateful. And yeah, we're, we're going to enjoy these potatoes. <laughs> right, Joey? Yeah, they'll, they'll taste good. 